It's life, but not as we know it. These are synthetic cells, bacteria that have been hijacked with man-made DNA to produce a new species that's never before existed in nature. Their American creator believes artificial life can be designed in the lab to produce biofuels to solve the energy crisis, clean up environmental disasters, even make new chemicals or food ingredients. At a dramatic Washington news conference, Dr. Craig Venter said the technology could make new vaccines, perhaps even for the common cold, and make old ones more quickly. We have ongoing funding to try and use these new synthetic DNA tools uh, to perhaps make the uh, flu vaccine that you might get next year. Because instead of taking weeks to months to make these, uh, Dan's team can now make these in less than 24 hours. To create life, the scientists took a bacterium and removed its genetic material. They then made short sequences of artificial DNA, which were bolted together into a long chain by yeast cells. The artificial genetic code was then injected back into the bacterium, where it rebooted as a whole new life form that grew and replicated as normal. But already some ethics experts have warned that the scientists are playing God and fear what would happen if the new species was released into the environment. And there could be sinister uses of the technology too. Personally, I think that the, the greatest issue uh, posed by this research is not really anything to do with the fact that it's artificial life as such. It's, it's to do with the potential for this kind of research to be uh, misused to create uh, pathogens, designer pathogens potentially, uh, that could be used in biological weapons by either state-sponsored militaries or, or bioterrorists. This is the dawn of a new age of synthetic biology. The race is now on to harness its scientific potential, but it also raises the question, if life can be designed on a computer and created on a laboratory bench, what's the difference between a living organism and a machine? Thomas Moore, Sky News.